It's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. I have had several requests to show you my homemade chicken pot pie. So I'm getting ready to make some and I thought I would show you. Um, this recipe is adapted from the Pioneer Woman recipe. So I will link that down below. Um, there's kids playing and you know, my kitchen's not perfectly clean or anything like that. So this is just um, real life cooking. So um, this will make- Is it Christmas Day yet? Not Christmas Day yet. So <laughs> Lucy is being so silly. Um, so this will make two chicken pot pies. Now this is not gonna be huge ones. If you want a really thick chicken pot pie, just do this as one recipe, but I split it into two. Um, and so one of them I'll be sticking in the freezer. So I'm gonna turn the camera on. I'm gonna show you everything you need and then I'll show you step by step how I do it so um, first of all you're gonna need four tablespoons of butter that's half a stick um, like I said you could lighten this up even more I've lightened it up a little bit but I like the taste of the real butter but you probably could use less or um, change it for something else but I'm gonna use the real thing and you're gonna do half a cup of diced celery and I like to cut it up very very thin thinly sliced um, little pieces and I'll show you that. So half a cup of celery, half a cup of carrots, I'll just peel these and chop these up small, and half a cup of a yellow onion. I like them very small because I just, I'm not crazy about chunks of them. So we're going to melt that together, soften it. Um, not pictured, you're also going to need some flour. You're going to need a fourth of a cup of flour, so you're going to do that. We're going to also need some chicken broth. You're going to need three cups. I believe this is four cups, so we'll use almost this whole thing. I might just go ahead and use all of it. I kind of do recipes um, just how I like it, so you change it to how you like it. We're going to add um, our chicken. So this is chicken. I will leave my recipe for how I cook um, my, chicken, my shredded chicken, and uh, I'll link that down below. We also need some salt, some pepper. I like to throw in a little bit of garlic and parsley. And then for the very end, we're going to put in some half and half. I usually use full half and half, but today I'm just going to use fat free. You're going to need half a cup of that. So we're going to top. I'm going to use this pie plate for the chicken pot pie that we're going to eat tonight. And I don't want to have one stuck in the freezer or like a real pie plate. You can if you want. I've done that before, but I'm just going to use a disposable cake pan. For the other one so it can just go in the freezer and not have to worry about having this tied up in the freezer this is what costs the most calories or points but i feel like it's worth it i like to use these um already done rolled pie crust so there's two in here i just use the pie crust with the very top of the chicken pot pie if you like two pie crusts one on the bottom one on top you could do that um, you could top it with biscuits, you could top it with um, crescent rolls, all kinds of stuff. This always is my favorite and it's worth the points to me. So I'm going to show you how I assemble everything. The first step I'm going to do is I am going to chop up the celery, the carrots, and the onion, and then I'll see you back when I get it all done. Okay guys, it's probably not the best lighting right here, but this is just by my stove. So I'm going to turn it to medium high and I'm going to add, I cut up everything really small. Um, the carrots I want a little heavier on than the onions. I'm not a huge fan of onions, but I do like a little bit of flavor that comes with them. So I'm going to add the four tablespoons of butter. And what you're looking for is you just want them to soften. And the butter is going to melt, of course. It's going to soften up and get all... Um, you know, a little bit translucent. It's just going to be delicious. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done um, just softening it up. Okay, guys. So it's been about five or ten minutes. I'm going to turn this down a little bit because it's really bubbling. Um, everything's just started to kind of come together and soften. It will continue to cook, of course, as we, you know, make the rest of the sauce. It is fogging on my camera. <laughs> So at this point, I'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of flour. You can use uh, all purpose, or I think this is self-rising. It's just what I had. And this is going to help thicken your sauce. I like it to cook for a minute or two so that the flour taste kind of cooks out. It'll look kind of weird and thick, um, but that's okay. So I'm just going to stir this. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand, guys. 
So I'm just gonna let it sit for a second and then we're gonna add in our chicken broth. Now this, the recipe says three cups. Sometimes I do a little bit more um, because you know I don't mind it being a little soupy. If you want it thicker, you can do less. Um, okay, I think that's looking good. So I'm gonna start pouring in chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth, chicken broth. Let me stir it and see where we are. This will thicken up because it has that flour in there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the whole box. Because when we add our chicken, it's gonna thicken up even more, plus the flour is gonna thicken up. So, as soon as this starts to thicken a little bit from that flour, I'm gonna add my chicken and my spices. Um, and then we'll save the half and half till the very end after it thickens even more. So this is what it looks like after you add your chicken broth and I'll see you guys back when it gets a little thicker. I'm just gonna keep stirring it, turn up my heat a little bit more, let it come back to a bubble. It is a lot thicker um, and I'm just keeping on stirring but I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken and this will make it, of course, thicker. So I'm gonna add all of my chicken in. There's a lot of chaos going on in here. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so that's it. And by the way, this would be a fantastic soup if you don't want to add the top of the pie crust on, or which, like I said, with some biscuits or reduced fat crescent rolls. So now you're just gonna salt to taste. Um, sorry for it fogging up the camera here. And remember, this is a big pot, so you wanna season both nights making noise. So that's okay. Okay, and this is not part of the recipe, but I always add just a little sprinkle of garlic because, you know, why not? So, I'm going to sprinkle that in, and then I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Now, um, I'm just going to babysit this and just kind of watch it. It will kind of thicken up even more. Um... And right now it's, you know, it's like a soup, but it will kind of get thicker. In a little while, I'm just going to keep this kind of on low, let it simmer for a while. You can pull this off and, and let it sit. You don't have to keep cooking it, but I'm just going to keep watching it, letting it cook. And then when I get done, I'm going to add half a cup of fat-free half and half and a sprinkle of parsley. I like adding this at the very end because it really does keep it green. I like fresh parsley, but I don't have any, so I'm just going to use the parsley flakes. And then once that's done, we're going to pour it into our pans and top it with the pie crust. So I will show you guys what it looks like after it cooks for a little while and after I add the half and half. If you're wondering, I get questions. This is a Rachel Ray Lazy Spoon. I think that's what it's called. And it just stays like that. I love it. And this is the Pioneer One. Pioneer Woman. Uh, what is it called? Like a Dutch oven? So anyway, I'll see you guys back after I add the final ingredients the chicken pot pie filling out it thickened up I added the half half and half um, to it and some parsley I'm gonna let this cool for a second and then I'm gonna unroll these pie crusts and I just put one crust on top this step is optional but I have some eggs I need to use so I'm gonna I am gonna do an egg wash on top just to help it brown a little bit and then it's going to go into a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes the one that I'm gonna freeze I'm gonna put straight in the freezer you don't have to bake it and then when you pull it out, when you're ready to eat it, it's going to go in a 375 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and a half, just until it gets nice and hot all the way through. But this one I'm going to go ahead and cook tonight, so I will show you what it looks like once I get it out of the oven. It's going to be all nice and brown and delicious, and we are excited to eat it tonight. Okay, real quick before I stick this in the oven, this is what it looks like after the egg wash. And I don't get all fancy with the edges, I just kind of turn them under and um, it's going to go right in. Sorry about Lucy talking. Okay, just a minute. Um, and then I just package this up. So what I do is I take, take saran wrap. I'm really sorry about the noise. Um, I take saran wrap and I put that underneath the foil. So before I bake it, I will pull the saran wrap off and leave the foil on for a little bit in the oven once it's frozen. And then I'll take it off to brown. But um, when you're just sticking it in fresh, I don't need to put foil or anything. And this is going to look delicious in about 45 minutes. So I'll show you what that looks like. This guy is going in the freezer for another day. 
and it won't last long, I'm telling you guys. Um, I would say this chicken pot pie could go up into the freezer for three to six months, maybe. Um, it will never last that long around here. But I'm going to stick this in the freezer. I'm going to stick this guy in the oven, and I have two dinners made. Okay, guys, so I just pulled this out of the oven. Um, it looks delicious. So um, it went about 45 minutes, like I said, on 375. Um, I did cut some slits in it. I think I showed you that. Anyway, I calculated the smart points for this. If you're interested, like I said, you can lighten this up even more, but I really like the pie crust. I do a fourth of this a serving, <laughs> so that might be kind of big, but it's very shallow. So a fourth of it is 11 smart points. So we are going to enjoy this. I hope I didn't make this video too confusing. It is not hard. But, you know, I kind of just do my own thing. I will link the Pioneer Woman's recipe down below. That is the basis for how I do it. I just, you know, throw in extra stuff and, you know, change it up a little too. So, okay, so that's kind of it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said, I will link the Pioneer Woman's recipe down below. And also down below, I will link my shredded chicken recipe, the easiest way to make the chicken that goes in this crock pot. So, we are going to enjoy this tonight and you know while we watch the Alabama football. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you try this recipe, make sure you let me know down below how it turned out. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new and I will see you all next time.